Well, it's King David leaves and grazes that table. No, yep, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Anyway, we are uh, on the final episode of putting the car back together. This isn't the final episode. This is just the, hopefully, the final repair episode. And, uh, sir? Yeah, he found out. Told him. Yeah. We, uh, transmission pan bolts. Did the guy make it all the way home in his other car? Yeah. Made it all the way. And, uh, transmission pan bolts were in the Folgers can in the trunk, he said. So, I dug through and I found all of the transmission pan bolts that aren't installed. There are a few in it just to hold the pan up, but he did not, um, uh, put them all back in. So, I think they're 10 millimeter. I to jack the car for a minute to go look and... A little, little bit of fluid that was in the transmission so it's leaking from the pans. There's your transmission pan right here, and as you can see down the side right there, it's got a few bolts in it, but not all of them. So I'm gonna crawl underneath this thing and we will reinstall all of the bolts now that I found them, and hopefully, we can get the fluid in it. And it won't leak. I bought fluid. I don't know if I bought enough. Can't remember how much this car holds from empty. But we got the just the, the Transmax import vehicles for Toyotas and stuff that use Textron 3 and 2. Which is what this car uses, so we'll put three quarts in it and see where that puts us at. I'm going to get these bolts and get them tightened in and we'll add some fluid. Okay. All the transmission pan bolts are reinstalled. I tightened it up. The gasket looks like it's good and tight. Um, it squeezed moisture out as I torqued it down. So I'm hoping that that means that that gasket's okay. I'm missing one bolt. But I don't think it's going to kill us short one bolt it's not even in like a, a corner or anything it's it's in the middle on one side so I just got everything around it torqued down good my funnel is a little too big for that it's not gonna sit in there all the way so I'm gonna have to not record while I put the fluid in it because uh, I'm gonna need one hand to hold the funnel so I don't pour it all over the front of the motor so all right let me uh, get this fluid in there all right should be full of transmission fluid. And we're not pouring any out the bottom. So let's. Was it not want to go in gear? We're going to find out. Let's see. Oh, it's got a reverse. Oh, shit. I caught drive. No slipping. We must need a motor mount. Alright. Yeah. Probably a motor mount. Let me take that fluid level one more time, then we'll take it down the road. Alright, here roll that window down. Let's see if we got heat. Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. We got some warmth. Reverse. Still clunks in the drive. Guys, it's doing it. It's a move. It stops. <laughs> and we got brakes. That's always a good sign.
No speedometer. Oh, there it, there it goes. Wow, it's shifting good. Sorry about the it's crap on. Really sorry about the crap on the camera lens, guys. You can hear the rust on those rotors. But it is stopping. <laughs> so excited. <laughs> they want a bolt. Idles right at 15. <sighs> I don't know what that smoking is though. I don't know if that's just oil that's burning off or if I've got an actual issue. We'll just have to see. Like I said, I'm hoping that smoke will go away. It's gurgling out all kinds of nastiness though. Might be stuff that's just in the catalytic converter that has to be burned off. Anyway, take it back up the road here. Hard shift in the drive. Guys, it runs, it drives. The 95 Toyota Paseo will live again. Our temperature down there is looking good. The heat's nice and warm. Pretty stoked, guys. Thanks for watching episode three of the Toyota Paseo project. Uh, probably in the next episode, you'll we'll do some more fine tuning on this motor. Uh, maybe get it detailed and. Hopefully I can find a set of matching wheels to put on. I'd really like to find another factory set of BBSs to go back on it or something along those lines. I don't know exactly what I want yet, but we'll just have to see what I can find for cheap. I want to try to stay on a budget with this car. 
I know we've only got $250 in the cost of the car. I just don't want to go haywire with accessories and whatnot. So we'll see how it goes. Thanks for watching, guys.